Here we go, back again with another match day preview. Yes, a match day preview, and Sunderland do welcome Stoke City up to the Stadium of Light on Saturday. But before we get into the preview, I want to say a big well done to these characters who got the correct score of Coventry 2, Sunderland 1 on Saturday. Unfortunately, you did. It was Simo, Graham Walker, Alan Robinson, Greg Hoon, Stuart Diggle, CPZ, Chris Wilkins, Only Fools and SFC, Steve O and Harley Jones, well done. All get one point in the Big Book of C and I will be reading out the list of everybody in the Big Book of C who has two points and more at the end of this video. So hang around if you want to hear that. If you don't, then just go. Right, cheers. So preview, Sunderland, like I said, welcome the fans, the Stoke fans up to the stadium of light. Hopefully they've had a safe journey up and a safe journey home. Stoke the Potters, yes, the Potters are very old. Re they were born, we founded them, born back in 1692. I'm only kidding, 1863, 160 years old, the Potters. Bet 365 Stadium took over from the Victoria Ground in 1997 and it has 30,000 capacity there. The Victoria Ground was around from 1878, so that was demolished. I think it was demolished, I presume it was demolished and sold off the houses, I would have thought, back in 1997. Now, the manager of Stoke is. Oh! Alex Neil, yes, we all know the manager of Stoke. Alex Neil, he has many names in Sunderland these days, but he goes by Alex and his second name is Neil. And we're not going to go into the rest of the names people call him. But he will be welcomed back to the Stadium of Light, of course. He'll be welcomed back to the Stadium of Light. I'm not saying what kind of welcome he'll get, but he'll be welcomed back to the Stadium of Light. He was in charge of 24 games at Sunderland. He won 12, drawn 3 and lost no, he won 12, drawn 9 and lost 3 with a 50% strike rate before he buggered off to Stoke for extra cash. Now with Stoke, he's having a shite time at this moment in time. He's, 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 he's been in charge of 31 games. He's won 11, he's drawn 6 and he's lost 14 with a, 30, with a mere 35% win ratio. Alex Neil not doing so good. The tables read as such. Sunderland in 9th, Stoke in 17th. Sunderland played 34, Stoke played 34, Sunderland won 13, Stoke won 11, Sunderland drawn 10, Stoke drawn 7, Sunderland won 11, Stoke, sorry, Sunderland lost 11, Stoke lost 16, Sunderland a plus 11 goal difference, Stoke, <laughs> a minus 2 goal difference, and Sunderland are on 49 points, and you know, poor Stoke are on 40 points. I'm only joking, I've got nothing against Stoke whatsoever. And you know, I do wish them all the well for till the end of the season, you know, end of the day on Saturday. May the best team win. Let's just hope it's Sunderland. Alex Neil will come up with his game plan, like he always does. He'll be like tinkering and thinking, and he'll know what, what team Sunderland are going to put out, and he'll have this game plan. Hopefully it won't work. I can imagine the warm welcome he's going to get as he walks out that tunnel on Saturday. I might, I might just pop down there and just get a little bit of video or a, a footage of Alex Neil on Saturday to see what kind of welcome he gets, of course. <laughs> but anyway, Stoke lost yesterday to Brighton in the FA Cup. You know, end of the day, Brighton are a good side. They did get beat off Millwall, but they beat Swansea 3-1. They lost to Millwall 1-0. They did beat... No, actually, they lost to Blackpool 1-0. They beat Huddersfield, they drew with Hull, and they lost 1-0 to Luton. So Stoke with players like, you know, you got players like Gail Smallbone and Jaggy Elke. Jaggy Elke still kicking about at the age of 40. Well done, that man. Keeps up in really good shape at the age of 40. We all know about Dwight Gale. Hopefully, he won't be anywhere near the Gale Force he used to be. Now, 4 2 3 one is the system I think Alex Ney will play. We all know he likes to play that kind of system. And of course, we did. We do have head to heads with them, and I've lost my train of thought. Head to heads. Yes, we have won 66, we have drawn 38, and we have lost 47 in the head to heads. Dennis Serkin might be missing at the weekend again because he's, unfortunately he's had a bit of a. That, that knock against Millwall, the head injury, it, it's it's not going away. So I do wish him touch wood all the best, Dennis. I hope he recover. He's got things on for another scan or something. So I do wish Dennis Serkin all the best. I really do. Now, when Alex Neil first took over at Stoke, we did beat them. 
Yes, we did beat them down the store. One nil. Ross Stewart scored the goal back on the twentieth of August. Alex Nails, one of his first games in charge. Sunderland did beat them one 0 Let's do the double this weekend. I really want to have the double this weekend. I'll be doing the vlog. We'll be going to Wincy's Bar and Grill again with good old Raymondo and Wincy having a good time. Hopefully. I'm hoping we can do the double over them, I really do. But team news, what should we do for team news? And don't forget, if you have the greatest sports noggin, right? <clears throat> there is a new shirt up for grabs. If you like the blue and white shirt, then you may well like the blue and white shirt of Argentina. Argentina, we're having a mini table, three game table. And look at that badge, it is stitched on absolutely superb from LU Soccer. I'll leave a link in the description. You can pop over it and sell some really good replica shirts. And they do smell nice and fresh when they're new. But there we have it. You can win that by leaving a score prediction down below in the comment section. Mini table, three games, but, and there's a big but, something does trump something else. If in the mini table, you did get the correct score and the correct Sunderland goal scorers, you will go into a little mini table, and if you're the only person to get the correct goal scores and the correct score on Saturday, you will automatically trump the big table for three of the three tables, sorry, three team table or three game table. Because it's starting to get confusing now, isn't it? Three game table. If you get the correct score on Saturday and you pick the correct goal scores, you're the only person to do that, you'll win the shirt. There we go. That's in proper English. That's a nice shirt. It does smell nice, like I said. Anyway, so there we go. So Stoke, right. So I know you're all wondering out there, <clears throat> why Stoke? Why is Stoke named Stoke? How did the name come around of Stoke? Well, I did mention before in the olden days, the people used to congregate and meet around trees. Now down in Stoke, there was an old oak tree. An old oak tree where everyone used to go and congregate and meet around and have a little bit of a chit chat and and then cook some food. And they got a bit of the oak tree and they were cooking the food on the oak tree and on a little fire made of oak. And as the, as the pork in the fire, somebody said, I'm stoking the fire. And that's how the name Stoke came around. Because they said there was Stoke and the fire around the oak tree. Stoke, oak, round the oak tree, Stoke and the fire. And someone said that'll be a good name for Stoke. And that's how Stoke was created. <laughs> there you go. You never knew that. Of course you never, because I just made the fucker up. <laughs> I do apologise for my language. I have no idea why it's called Stoke, but there we have it. Anyway, so we'll go on to team news right now. Team news. We have, I'm not going to bang my head this time. That's steady as a rock. Right, so changes that we've made personally. <clears throat> ah, oh. ah, stay there. No, no, there's going to be no bloopers this time. Right, so obviously the back four has got to stay the same because unfortunately I hope Dennis Second's okay. Trey Hume, Ballard, Bart, Alessi. Mishoot and Dan Neal must be dropped. Dan Neal is looking tired, looking jaded, and you can't have two, two youngsters like that in the centre of the park. We need to have somebody with a bit of bite. Now we can either play Equa there, you can play Bar there, you can play Luke 09 there. My personal preference is Luke 09. Mishoot, if he has a poor first half, replace him with Equa, simple as Roberts. Pritchard, Clark, Gelhart, Ahmad, maybe he's to the bench. 60 minutes to bring him on. Bit of bite, a bit of a bit of that speed, and 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 the skill will probably stalk up Stoke's defence and, and rip them apart. So there we go. I'm going for a Sunderland comfortable two 0 win to really piss Alex Neil off. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. You know, end of the day. I hope you enjoy the match. I think it's going to be a massive crowd. I really do think it's going to be a really big crowd there this weekend. I can imagine close to 40,000 fans being there. And hopefully we'll get the three points against Stoke. Now, like I said, I will be doing a vlog with Wincy and, and, and Raymondo and everybody at Wincy's Bar and Grill. That's my team. What do you think the team? Would you make any changes to that? Who would you start in the centre of the park? For me, that is the weakest part because we need to have a bit more of an engine in there, a bit more of a bite in there. <clears throat> but we don't want to have Luke 09 being sent off again. So he's got to be careful of what kind of bite he puts into the team. No piggyback rides this week either. <clears throat> Pritchard is the player maker. Roberts Gelhart. Maybe Gelhart might get a goal this weekend. I'm going to say a 2-0 to something. Gelhard go. Leave your score predictions down below with who's going to score the goals for the lovely 
Argentinian shirt. There we go, and hopefully we'll have a happy day on Saturday. Back to winning ways after two disappointing away losses. Two disappointing away losses. Hopefully back to back winning ways. And yes, thank you. Subscribe to the channel. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we're going to now read out the big book of C. Everybody, who's in it? <clears throat> So we'll start now. Chris Wilkins is top of the table on eight points. Liam Nickel is on six. Angelic Skin 77 is on six. We have Graham Walker on six. We have Alex Dixon on six. We have Brian Greener on six. <clears throat> right, now I'll just go down in order. Liam Nickel on six. Paul Crampton on four. CPZ on five. Sirius on three. Michael Atkinson on three. Gary Dunn on two. Greg Foley on two. Sean Pritchard on three. Astronaut Casplier on four. Fred Brady on two. Robert Charlton on three. Conrad Tank on four. Susan Bowman on three. David Newell on four. Kieran W. Two. Ian Curry four. Rim Reaper 5, Mick Griffiths 4, Only Fools and Horses, I mean Only Fools and SAFC 3, Lee from Florida 3, Philip Emerson 2, A Life Less Ordinary 2, Kip Vader 2, 3 sorry, Joe Wanny on 2, Greg Mariner on 5, Yorkshire Mackham on 2, then we have, oh we also got Ron Loudon on 6, Jamie SAFC on four, Michael Hall two, Andrew Simpkis five, Andrew Palmer four, David Jackson four, Alan Smills two, Gary Postil two, and it goes on. Edward Charlton four, Jamie Eppley five, George Brun four, Lewis Vincent two, Alan Hopper four, W, Liam W three, RAW, RWA Productions three, Charlie McEva two, David Edwards 2, Janice Gregory 2, Alan Kennelly 3, Ian Parker 2, Dortmund 2, Death Nell 2, Tom Devlin 2, George O'Hanlon 2, Cain Joy 2, Simo 4, David Joblin 2, Eddie Mensford 2, Carl Whittaker 2, Haley Jones 3, Nathan 2, James Melton 2, Alan Smith 2, Stuart Diggle 3, Ian B 2, Chrissy Cal 2, Venturius 1292, Denny McDur 2, Tim Cook 2, Alan Robinson 4 and Greg Hoon 2. So there you go, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Be much appreciated if you're new to the channel. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Let's try and smash the thumbs up in this video. And don't forget, leave your score prediction for this lovely Argentinian shirt with a nice stitched in badge. All you have to do is get the correct score and the goal scorer of the Sunderland goals. If nobody gets the goal scorer of the Sunderland goals, People got the correct score. We'll go under the hat to the next game for a three-game mini table. There we go. We'll see you the weekend for the vlog. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we'll see you later. Thank you very much.